In this video, we will talk about disinfection of environmental surfaces. Cleaning and disinfection procedures exist for every hospital and nursing personnel need to be familiar with them. In this video, we have shown selected methods of cleaning and disinfection. We have included videos of preparation of 1% sodium hypochlorite solution, which is the most widely used disinfectant for all surfaces except metal in clinical areas, including isolation areas. We have also shown or included a video on cleaning and disinfection of selected equipment. It's important that sanitary staff should be trained on standard precautions, linen and laundry management. High touch surfaces or objects we have touched upon this earlier on, such as bed and stretcher railings, bedside lockers, IV stands, stethoscopes, furniture in nursing station, computers, mouse, keyboard, landline phones, mobile phones, door handles, lift button, staircase, railing, and so forth. Here is a figure showing some high touch areas in a patient care unit. It's important to minimize touching these surfaces because they are a major uh, source of infection transmission or common sense measures may be used such as using your foot to push doors open or elbow to press lift buttons but if touching these surfaces becomes unavoidable do not touch your face after you touch these surfaces and perform hand hygiene as soon as possible some examples of medical devices and recommended level of disinfection or sterilization Critical devices which would enter a normally sterile site in the body, such as surgical instruments, cardiac and urinary catheters, eye and dental instruments. For this heat-based sterilization or high-level disinfection with an agent such as 1% sodium hypochlorite is recommended. Semi-critical devices which come into contact with mucous membranes or minor skin breaches, such as respiratory therapy equipment, anesthesia equipment, endoscopes. For this, high-level disinfection is recommended. Non-critical devices which come into contact with intact skin, like ECG electrodes, stethoscopes, thermometers. Intermediate or low-level disinfection is sufficient. Non-critical environmental surfaces, such as medical equipment surfaces, examination table. Low-level disinfection is enough because these surfaces have less direct contact with the patient. With regard to linen management, it's very important that sanitary staff who handle linen must be given necessary instructions and training regarding following hand hygiene, wearing PPE, not shaking or dusting linen when handling them, and washing can be the machine wash or manual wash. If washing manually, the linen should be first soaked in hot water and soap, taking care to avoid splashing. The linen is then soaked in 0.1% sodium hypochlorite for 30 minutes, rinsed with clean water and dried in the sun. For floor cleaning and cleaning of other environmental surfaces, sanitary staff should be given the necessary instructions and training. The triple bucket mopping method is commonly used for cleaning and disinfection purposes and we have included a short video clip on this in this series. We have included some images which illustrate some principles to be followed during surface cleaning, such as the direction of cleaning being from innermost to outermost, moving the mop unidirectionally, the eight stroke technique for mopping, which is commonly used for corridors, with regard to spillage on floors, the spill kit usually contains gloves, apron, mask, shoe covers, absorbent material, and a bag to collect waste. Blood and body fluid spill should be covered with absorbent paper or cloth. The spill is then covered with a disinfectant like 1% sodium hypochlorite for 20 minutes. It's then cleaned, discarded into a bin which receives infectious waste, and the area is mopped with soap and hot water. With regard to cleaning and disinfection of operation theater, 
when a patient with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 requires surgery. If possible, it's better to designate a specific operation theater and anesthesia machine for patients with COVID-19 who require surgery. No unnecessary item should be brought into the OT. Also, minimize unnecessary traffic. Before the surgery begins, all horizontal surfaces should be cleaned by wet wiping with 1% sodium hypochlorite. If surfaces are dirty, they should be cleaned with a detergent or soap and water prior to disinfection with sodium hypochlorite. Antiseptic bottles, trays, st sterile containers should be disinfected with sodium hypochlorite. Here is an image which illustrates the cleaning of the OT, that is from cleanest area to outwards. Keep the OT closed for 10 to 15 minutes with ventilation equipment on after cleaning. Wash the scrub basin and tap. On completion of the surgery, the air handling unit should be kept on and the OT door closed. A cloth dampened in sodium hypochlorite or alcohol wipes is used to clean and disinfect surfaces that have come into contact with the patient or body fluids. The floor is damp mopped in a 1 to 1.3 meter perimeter around the OT table or a larger area if, there's, if there is contamination. At the end of the day, cleaning should be performed with detergent and water followed by disinfection with sodium hypochlorite 1% or alcohol wipes if hypochlorite is found unsuitable. All surfaces with particular attention to high touch surfaces, including flooring, should be cleaned and disinfected using a fresh mop or mop head and fresh solution for each room. Slippers should be washed with soap and water followed by disinfection with 0.1% hypochlorite for a contact time of 10 minutes every day or even earlier if they are visibly dirty. Once a week, detail washing and disinfection of all surfaces should be carried out and the OT is closed for at least one hour before admitting the next patient.